this is your time, time for you, because you truly are important. There's only one of you on the planet and you are very much needed at this time. Your energy, your consciousness, your love, your presence, your light is needed. So in this session, we are working with the entities of light. This is a spiritual flange of over 2000 spirits that are working in the spiritual realm to assist humanity at this time. We're going to use the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Mary to invoke divine masculine and divine feminine presence into this space and to keep everybody safe wherever they may be watching live or watching the recording. If you know the prayers and you'd like to join in, please do so. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children, now and at the hour of our transition. Amen. And I'm also going to use the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is doubt, faith. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. Seek to be understood as to understand. Seek to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. So we start by feeling our link within a Sangha online community. Over 20 people watching online, many more watching on replay. And we set our intention to establish current meditation along the same lines as happens at Abhijania in Brazil. As we go through current meditation, the energies are going to build very much like an electrical current. And those energies can then be accessed by our higher self to help us to release whatever we need to release, surrender whatever we need to surrender and receive whatever it is we need to receive. So we invite the entities of light to work with us now. These are spiritual beings that are working together to assist humanity at this time. They have foregone physical incarnation themselves to remain in the spiritual dimensions and they are aligned with the will of God, with divine will. It's good not to cross your arms and legs as we sit in current meditation. And it's good to have your palms facing upwards. It's good to personally invite the entities of light to be present with you so that you can feel their presence with you. Please grant that we may release 
whatever it is we need to release. As you sit in current, you may have sensations of the entities working on you. You may feel energies moving and shifting within you. You may be given flashes of things you're currently worried or concerned about or things from the past that need to be released. Our intention is to release whatever it is we need to release. Keep your mind focused on that intent and allow the entities of light to do the work they need to do in your energetic field. Releasing whatever needs to be released. Letting it go. You are not your past. Much of the things that you hold on to are rooted in the past. The past does not define you. Your past is not who you are. That's just some stuff you've experienced. But sometimes that stuff you experienced leaves its residue in your energetic form, in your energetic sense of self. And it diminishes you, makes you less brave, less fearless. You are not your past. And so on this basis, we can let go of the past, let go of its imprint that it's left on our energetic field, it can be helpful to say internally, I am not my past. Most of the ideas you have about who you are are rooted in the past. And it's not true, it's not who you are. That was simply stuff that happened to you that you responded or reacted to, but it's not who you are. Once you truly, truly grasp this, you will be more inclined to stay in the moment, in this eternal now, which is all that really exists. So we want to let go of not only the ideas we have about ourselves because of the past, but we want to let go of our addiction to living in the past, to repl replaying it and re-energizing those reactions within us because it's illusion, it's not who we are. The only place you can experience yourself as you truly are is in this moment. So we actually need 100% of our awareness in this moment. We need to invest in this moment, in the eternal now. And so as the entities of light work 
in your energetic field, commonly called the aura, you'll find changes happening. You may find yourself feeling lighter, less troubled, more energised. All you need to do is stay present. It can be helpful to observe the breath, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, or in through the nose, out through the mouth, however you comfortably breathe. I tend to breathe in and out through the nose for meditation. You're not clearing this stuff from the past. The entities of light are. You just keep yourself present with the intention of having them help you release the stuff from the past. And then you keep keeping your awareness here and now. You may get flashes of things from the past that they're releasing, and that's okay. Occasionally you may find yourself going into mind and replaying something, but as soon as you've noticed that's happened, just gently but firmly direct your awareness back to this moment, this eternal now. This is all that truly exists. This is where you awaken, this is where you become enlightened is in this now moment. This is the doorway, the portal. And as we sit in this now moment, noticing our breath, aware of our Sangha community, aware of the entities of light releasing from us whatever needs releasing, we relax. We are energized, yet relaxed. Mind is clear, we don't need to think about anything. We're just holding the intention of having the entities of light release whatever needs releasing. If you want a point to hold your awareness, I would hold it in your third eye, in the center of the head. And deep within the skull. Your intention is to release whatever needs releasing and to have the entities of light assist you with that. So you just stay present here and now. Keep your awareness in your third eye. Breathing. Intending that what needs to be released is released. Including your addiction to past. including your addiction to thinking. Focus on the breath. It's all that's important. The breath will keep you in the now. One of the most powerful things we can do is free ourselves of the addiction of compulsive thinking. All your awareness in your third eye. All your awareness on the breath. Releasing whatever needs to be released.
releasing whatever needs to be released, letting it go. You are not any of those stories. You're not any of the things that happened to you in the past. You are conscious awareness. Releasing whatever needs to be released. Surrendering whatever needs to be surrendered. So, releasing, we release from the perceived inner to the outer. With surrendering, we're turning inwards. We're surrendering the ego, the self we have created, the imposter. We're surrendering that to true self, to the divine. So with surrender, we're now turning inwards. Bring your awareness now down into your heart center, in the middle of your chest. Surrendering to the divine. The divine is not separate from you. The divine is your essence, your core. Turning inwards through your heart. Surrender. I imagine myself prostrate on the floor with my prayer in a prayer position, like we see Arabic nations praying with um, the head touching the ground, the head beneath the heart. I'm surrendering the ego, the small self, the I I think I am, the separate self, perceived separate self, to the divine, to God, to source. Whatever else you believe, that, that intelligence that is beyond human intelligence, that governs everything. We're surrendering to that intelligence, that divine love, that essence, whatever it is. So with your awareness in your heart center in the middle of the chest, you're turning inwards. You're going deeper. Surrendering who you think you are so that you can experience who you truly are. And the energy that you are, the consciousness that you are, is divine and exquisite. Let yourself experience your own exquisite nature.
feeling the love that you are. Diving deep into your own divine essence. Allowing the essence of who you are to flow out into the world. Trusting in this essence that you are. Knowing that as you flow this energy out into the world, this energy will not tire, will not diminish. The more you flow it out into the world, this trickle becomes a stream the stream becomes a river. The more you get used to being who you truly are and flowing your essence out into the world, the more you'll be able to stay in alignment every moment of every day. The more you'll be standing in your truth in your power. In true alignment with the one source. We could say that in this way, meditation is a practice that you being you. The practice of you bringing through true self, 
authentic self. You'll notice that there is no doubt, no fear, no worry or anxiety when you are in true self. If you are anxious, worried or afraid, you are not in true self. Feelings of anxiety, fear or worry are an indicator that you need to move out of mind and into a deeper sense of self. Do not allow less evolved aspects of your being to guide you through this time. You need to make a concerted and consistent effort to be in this moment, to be in true self, and to have your deepest, purest, truest guidance come through you into the world. You need to do this for you you need to do this for your family, for your loved ones, and you need to do this for your communities. The earth needs you at this time to be more you than ever before, to tune in to source better than ever before. Let's keep on turning inwards, <coughs> diving even deeper into this divine essence that you are and have always been. Dive deep. Diving deep.
Your true self is of unfathomable depth. You can always dive deeper. As you bathe in the exquisiteness of your core essence, know that this is having profound healing benefits for every organ, every meridian, every cell. Divine healing is taking place. And this is because you are no longer in mind, but in your purest essence. When you move your awareness to your purest essence, every cell in your being gets the benefit. Still holding your awareness in this deepest part of your being, we move into the third part of current meditation, which is allowing ourselves to receive. Allowing ourselves to receive whatever healing energies we need. four dimensions of life, physical, emotional, mental and spiritual. And as we open to receive healing, we're receiving healing on those four levels, physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. You are opening up your cells, abilities to receive healing. You're opening up your cells, abilities to reverse aging. You are strengthening your immune system. Healing and repairing all of your cells.
noticing where that healing energy is being directed most strongly in your body. This is healing at the deepest level. Receiving whatever inspiration you need for the next part of your journey. Receiving insights. Receiving the support you need. There is only one you, almost eight billion souls on the earth, plus the billions that have lived before you. There is only one you. You are unique. You have a purpose. You have a role to play. Allow yourself to open up now, to perceive more fully and more accurately what it is you're here to do, why it is you chose to incarnate on the earth at this time. What are the energies you're choosing to bring through to this dimension? Allow yourself to see clearly what stood in the way of you bringing through your authentic self. And allow yourself to see that block, that barrier, that obstacle being released. Allow yourself to be shown what it is you need to do what's your next step whose help will you need how will you be doing your next step this is your time you are important your light your consciousness your love is needed here more than ever before You are loved more than you yet know and you're supported in ways you cannot yet imagine. Allow yourself now to open up to new possibilities of being.
Know that it is you that opens up the doorways, the portals. It's you that clears away the blocks. It's you that shines your light out into the world, helping others to awaken to who they truly are. We are rising up now. The conscious and aware people of the earth are rising up together in love, in unity, in harmony, in truth. We're rising up because the earth, the animals, the plants, the people need us to arise at this time. Let yourself see yourself standing up more fully, more upright. Allow yourself to see yourself shining your light, speaking your truth, being in your power, in alignment with this moment. You are needed more than ever before to be fully present to be the light. Receiving everything that you need to help you maintain and sustain this new position, this new quality of consciousness. Inviting your guides, spirit world guides and other dimensional, interdimensional guides to be with you, to support you in your mission, your purpose. Calling forth full awareness. Becoming more intentional about how you are, how present you are, and how you direct your energy using your free will. Refusing to get pulled into lower vibrational dramas or negativity. Standing in your power, standing in your light, in your truth, in your love. This is your time. Feeling your strength. Recognizing it as divine strength. Feeling your truth. Recognizing it as the truth. Feeling your love. Recognizing it as divine love. Let's take a moment to imagine ourselves taking this more accurate version of ourselves back into our day. I want you to imagine, first of all, 
opening your eyes in the room that you were sitting in as you started this meditation and how you look upon the things in the room differently with this quality of consciousness. Notice that there's a spaciousness within you, that the room appears to be within you. You're not in the room, the room is within you. All the objects are within you, within your expanded state of awareness. Then imagine yourself meeting the first person that you're likely to meet as you return from this meditation. Notice how you perceive them within you. They're not separate from you. They're actually within you. As you gaze out of a window, you perceive all of that within you. There is no separation. As you gaze around you, you find that there is less chatter in your head. There's more awareness. There's more presence. As you notice feelings of hunger or thirst within you in this new state, this new state that is your true state, that is who you've always been, you observe yourself making wise choices about what to eat or drink and when. You're more grateful for your food, blessing your food. You observe the food being digested. Very aware that whatever it is you're ingesting will become you over the next few days and weeks. And so you find yourself effortlessly and easily making better food choices. You're a lot more aware of your physical form. You can feel a higher vibrational energy flowing through your body and you know instinctively what exercise to take and when. Your emotional energy field is clear, perfectly clear. And you become aware of being exposed to somebody else's emotions. And you choose whether to stay in presence, whether to move away from that person, or whether to help them process by holding space for them and gently engaging them in conversation so that they can shift how they are feeling without their feelings contaminating your beautiful, clear, emotional energy field. You are less inclined to pick up your phone, turn on a television, and have some strangers, feelings, words, and emotional states fill your beautiful space. Why would you do that? You're more inclined to walk in nature, get up with the sun. And witness the incredible miracle of life that you are a part of. In a moment, we're going to take our awareness back into our day and part of us may not want to do that part of us may want to just stay in this beautiful space and state of awareness 
that we've rediscovered. So how do we take this expanded sense of self, this truer sense of self back into our day? I have found that the best way for me to do this is simply to open my eyes. And as I gaze out into the room, I see the space as well as the things. So if you're ready to do that, try that now. Opening your eyes, seeing the space as well as the things. I'm keeping the music playing to help you keep your awareness in your deeper sense of self. As soon as I narrow my focus to focus on a thing, I tend to stimulate mind and the same may be true for you. So we keep our awareness in the spaciousness for some time. Maybe five minutes or so, just seeing the space, aware of the space in the room, aware of the space around the things. If there's a window handy, you can extend your gaze, extending your vision, but still seeing the space, aware of the things within the space, but primarily aware of space. Really letting yourself realize at a deep, deep level that you are not this form. You are awareness, a vibrantly alive, unlimited field of awareness that is connected, intimately connected to the all that is. But when you incarnated on this earth, everybody else was identified with a body. And so you did that too. But it's not who you are. You have a form. It's useful for anchoring your consciousness on this planet. But it's not who you are. The more you can identify with your vastness, the more you can be aware of this moment, the more you will find yourself making the choices that you need to in your physical life to support you maintaining your true state of awareness. You're probably gonna be feeling pretty spacey and that's okay. That feeling of spaciousness is closer to who you are than any thoughts or ideas you have about who you are. Some of you at this point in time will have freed yourself from mind. You won't be just in here. Others of you will have come back in and that's okay. As you go through your day, it's useful to focus on your breath, keep yourself present, keep your awareness of the space. <laughs> 